what is the reason behind the perennial success of 60 Minutes? Well, according to one of the show's featured interviewers, six words, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you my story. My story is that I was born into a very religious home in Northwest Georgia. I was a church member for 12 years. Eight years I was in the ministry. But it was not until October 26, 1982, that I prayed a simple six-word prayer. Oh God, I'm lost. Save me. And he did. Religion could not save me. Morality could not save me. All of my works could not save me. My education, my knowledge, none of those things could save me. It was a personal relationship with Jesus Christ that I needed. That's my story. So what is your story? Let's talk for a moment about your story. S T O R Y. S. I am a sinner. That's the story for all of us. The Bible says we were born in sin. In sin, our mothers did conceive us. And we're all personal lawbreakers. Some of us are not as bad as others, perhaps. But the Bible says that if we have sinned in one respect, it is as if we have broken all of the commandments of God. And yet, even though I am a sinner, T, I am transformed. The Christian life is not just a changed life. It is an exchanged life. I have exchanged who I was for who Jesus Christ is. I have exchanged my sin for His salvation. I have exchanged my unrighteousness for His righteousness. My unholiness for His holiness. My impurity for His purity. My restlessness for His peace. Paul said it this way, For I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. I am transformed. But I want you to understand the O. I'm just an ordinary guy. I'm an ordinary guy like everyone else on the planet because I've sinned. I've shot my moral arrow and it has been wide of the mark. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And like everyone else, I can turn from my sin. The Bible word for that is repentance. Repent and turn to God and do works that give evidence of repentance. The Bible says, like everyone else, I am able to trust Christ and Christ alone for my salvation. It is by grace through faith that we are saved. Jesus calls us to believe on Him even as we believe in the Father God. And just like everyone else, I can tell Him I need to be saved. The Bible says that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and we believe in our heart that God has raised Him from the dead, we will be saved. And it also says that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Just like I prayed that simple prayer, others can pray that simple prayer and they also can be saved. If you want something, something from someone, then you just ask them for it. And if you want God to save you, then you ask Him to save you. And so, O, oh, I'm an ordinary guy. But R, I have been rescued. The great rescue mission of all the ages is when the Lord Jesus Christ stepped down that shining stairway of the stars and invaded human history. Here's how he described it himself. For God so loved the world that he gave his one-of-a-kind son 
that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. I've been rescued by the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, why? Why is yearning? I am yearning to know him better. I'm not what I ought to be, but thank God I'm not what I used to be, and I'm not what I'm going to be, because I want to know Christ better every day in my life. As Paul said, I have not yet reached my goal, but I press on for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. But I'm also yearning for you to know Jesus just like I know Jesus. I am yearning for you to put your faith in Him right here, right now, today. How do you do that? I told you just a moment ago. It's my story, and it can be your story. Let's go back just for a moment to O. Oh, we're all the same. We're all ordinary individuals who can become extraordinary individuals if we will just acknowledge we sin and we will turn away from our sin. We will trust Christ to forgive us of our sins and we will tell Him that we want Him to save us. And right there where you're seated, right there where you're standing, right there where you may be viewing this video today, you can do those things things. You can pivot on the heel of your life. You can do a 180 and you can go in another direction for the rest of your life. And you can put your faith and confidence in Christ to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And in this very moment, you can tell him that you want him to save you. If you'd like him to do that right now, here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to lead you in a simple prayer. The words are not magical, but if you'll mean business in your heart, God will mean business with you. It's with our heart that we seek after God. And so if you mean business in your heart right now, and you repeat these words as your very own words, whether you pray them silently, whether you pray them under your breath, or you pray them out loud, even now. You can be saved, and my story can be your story. Indeed, your life can be the Savior's story if you'll do it right now. Pray this prayer with me. Oh God, I'm lost. Save me. Jesus, thank you that you died on the cross for me. Thank you that you rose again from the dead. Thank you for coming into my heart right now and saving me. If you just now prayed that prayer, or you prayed in words something like that from your heart, and you have for yourself invited Christ into your life, here's the assurance that God gives us. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. And if you called on him right now, you sir, you ma'am, you student, you have been saved. And if you have been, I'd like so very much for you to contact me. You can contact me right here. Send me a comment. I'll try to read that as quickly as possible. I just want to pray for you. And I want to give you some words of encouragement as you begin a brand new life following the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the privilege of sharing with you today my story. And now I trust that my story and your story are the same because they are really his story. That's what history is. His story written over and over and over again in each one of our lives.